Hello guys, welcome to dedicatedcore.com. Finally, we are come up with a new control panel called as a cloud drone. Why? Because this tool helps you to build your WordPress best website very easy. The cloud drone. Cloud drone is the simplest way to host your website and run your business. We had many requests from the user. Sir, we wanted to install a WordPress on a VPS. And for that, we cannot able to afford to go with the C panel or direct admin or a plus. So is there any alternative by which we can able to run our WordPress? The answer lies in this video. The answer is yes. Cloud drone helps to set up everything. Now let's start with the understanding about cloud drone. Very first, when I go to the pricing section, because this is the most important factor when we comes for this installation. When we install a cloud drone, they allow us two application. Just give me a seconds. I will explain you very clean and simple way. Okay. And if you wanted to use unlimited, so that time you can able to go with this plan. But here for the demonstration purpose, we are going to show you how to install WordPress. So in this case, if you install a WordPress, that time it is called as a one app. Similarly, if you install another application, so that time it will count as a two. So basically, Cloud Run allows you to install a two different applications on the same machine. So let me show you. Okay, I will click on apps. You may surprise to know that they have hundreds of apps that including WordPress, Drupal, e-commerce application, Laravel and lot of them. In this video, we are going to show you a WordPress because this is the most requested concerns from our user. Okay. In this case, you can able to see that to understand or categorize, there are a lot of categories are given here. So if you want CRM, so here are the CRM names, chat applications. These are the chat applications. And similarly, if I click on web hosting, you can able to see that in the web hosting, we primarily need WordPress and server. So what is surfer? Surfer is nothing but a file manager. When you, you go into the cPanel that time you wanted to upload a file, what you do? You will click on file manager. Similarly, surfer act like a file manager and WordPress you guys knows. So basically we will do same in this video. We will install WordPress and also help you to install surfer. So you can able to upload files into your server. Let's begin. To install this, I will click on install button here to get the installation instructions. The installation of Cloud Drone is extremely simple. Just stay with us to avoid any kind of informational or misunderstanding. Let me copy this and we are on a control panel. We are on our server. This is a Ubuntu server. In this case, we already log into server. Now you can able to directly fire this command and hit enter. You can see that cloud drone installation process has been started. We need to wait for certain time because installation takes a time. Meanwhile, we would like to share you some information. We have seen that many businesses needs a BPS to set up. So in this case, we highly recommend you go to dedicatedcore.com and you can able to see that there are a lot of VPS available and we try to give you a best hardware at best possible prices. So you can able to visit our website and purchase a VPS. In this, if you install a cloud drone, so that time you can able to easily install your WordPress and run your business because most of bloggers need the servers instead of shared hosting or reseller hosting. So they can able to use this video and set up their own server because cloud run helps them to easily manage server. Please do not forget to watch a video given in the description related self manage versus manage VPS hosting or dedicated server. So you will know what things comes under management and what things need to be done from your side. The main motto of this video is to help you to reduce your server cost and also educate you. Hopefully you guys support our dedicated core YouTube channel. And if you need any videos, you can able to comment 
below. We will come up with a new videos. For now, we will wait some time for Cloud Drone complete installation. Here we can able to see that our Cloud Drone installation is almost finished. Now we can able to restart our system. Please make sure that this installation took 15 to 20 minutes. So do not disconnect the system else may your system get crash. So to avoid that, you should always use a proper internet connection. Okay, fine. We will restart our system. Cloud Drone after successful installation. I am on this screen. Here we have to add certain informations. So in this case, if you don't know how to insert this information, you can able to click on this. And in this guide, they have clearly mentioned that how we can able to set up the particular domain or subdomain. Here we are going to set uh, example.com as our domain name. If you wanted to set a subdomain, you can able to do that. So uh, please go through this documentation to avoid any misunderstanding. Okay, so let's begin. So here I will enter example.com. And here, as we are not using any of the one of the service, so in this case, I will use only for development. Okay, now click on next. In your condition, you can able to choose manual. After that, click on next. You can see that the cloud drone installation, yeah, configuration or preparation has been started and it's set to my.example.com. In this case, we need to set my.example.com to the, our server IP address with the A record from our domain provider end. So to do this, we have already created a video guide on our partner website called as a dedicated code, where we have explained all the possible domain providers from which you can able to customize your name servers, or you can point a records with the help of IP address. And if you wanted to, to get any servers, for the servers, VPS or dedicated server, you can able to go to our official website and take advantage of our powerful and most affordable service. Now, we will come back to this section. Disclaimer, in this particular video, we are not going to show you how to set A records because it's a complicated process. And for that, you can able to go to the Windresser and learn from this list. Hmm? Still, make sure that to do this, we have to know a higher technical knowledge about how to update A records and properly connect your domain with server. In this case, the concept comes manage versus unmanaged VPS. So to get the managed VPS, you can able to find the option in our server that is manage CBAN and VPS hosting. You can able to check there are a lot of plans available. But so this video is not about explaining the how the system works and all. Here we are specifically focusing on how we can able to set up our server with the help of CloudDroid. I completed the A record setups and all. So now you can able to see that my.example.com is working absolutely fine. Okay. Let me enter your name, email ID. It will ask for the username. So let me uh, enter the username admin and password and hit on create admin. Here, this admin is not taken. So I am entering this and click on create admin. Now, Cloud Drone is ready to use. Please make sure that Cloud Drone has four different functionalities. User management are done at centralized level. So if you wanted to install any application, you need an account with Cloud Drone. Second, email configuration to get the notification, backups and updates. So let's process with the dashboard. Now, please make sure one thing here, we are going to create a video so we can able to install WordPress and Surfer that is file manager or if you wanted to install the other applications like Moodle, Rock, Rocket Chat, GitHub, LAMP. We have already created separate videos on LAMP so you can able to go and to watch from our playlist. If you wanted to do for the email configurations you can able to install this round cube for the email creation and deletion. So you can able to uh, uh, create email IDs on your server as well. Okay. 
if you are running a gaming applications or gaming servers so that time you can able to use minecraft servers as well so this is a huge advantage to use a cloud drone and that to be free of cost for the two apps so let's go back to our control panel and here i it is showing as no app is installed now it is time to go to the app store from our dashboard here it asking us cloud drone login details as i already suggested without cloud drone login details you cannot able to create or install apps because it's centralized system let me enter information here and login into the system done process was extremely simple done here very first we will try to install wordpress it will show you these details and click on install after that it will ask for the details let me enter here a subdomain called as cloud and hit on install meanwhile we have stopped this video because we got the error the error was docker error not enough disk space to pull docker image so that was the error message we got while installing so that time what we did we simply click on this after that we was on this page we clicked on repair and here we clicked on instructions so when we click on instruction we went to this particular page after that scroll down to the bottom and here we found one command simply we went into the control panel and entered this command after entering we got this screen once done we simply went here and clicked on this retry task after that our wordpress installation on cloud.example.com has been started successfully and we are waiting from last 2 minutes to complete the wordpress installation once done we will resume this video now you can able to see that the status is showing running here as well you can able to see it is running i will click on this to explain you some more information here you can able to see that the initial username is admin and change me is the password okay so to check the configuration i click on this here you can able to see display name if you wanted to update the name of your app you can able to update here just for the label purpose okay location currently it is installed in cloud.example.com access control so who can able to access this we can able to re restrict based on that resources we can able to allocate storage we can able to manage grab security email cron if you wanted to add certain crons you can just enter this cron here and hit on save updates since we are using cloud drone we are getting a huge range of settings and in simplified way we can able to manage our business okay now you can able to simply learn all those things if you wanted to uninstall you can able to go and simply uninstall from this start and stop of the app also option is there so you can able to start or stop now we'll go to the new tab and open this url and you can able to see that our wordpress installation has been finished let me open this just look at the speed so this is what we are trying to say here when we use a server that is vps or dedicated server so that time if you are running a dedicated application you will get a extreme level of speed and you can able to experience here itself this is very great cost server and it's cost optimized and better in the performance let me log in into wordpress for that we can add wp admin and hit enter after that it will went to a login page as you know while set up it asked us a admin username and password so that time we put admin 12 as a user the ad user admin and we entered the password so you just have to remember that if you forgot this you can just go and reset from this control panel that processes are extremely simple okay now i click on login see we are successfully logged into our wordpress you can see here the username is also created with with the name of dedicated core because when we set up the uh, cloud drone so that time we already configured this all settings as in this video we are showing you okay now i will show you some secrets 
what is that secret let's start very first i will go to the display then location then accessibility so there are a lot of settings will be there right but if you wanted to go in the back end of the, your wordpress that time you don't need to look at this you can able to go here and click on file manager and see the magic here are all the files of your wordpress and if you wanted to upload any plugin you can upload it from here or you can also use this method click here plugins here simply upload your plugin file or a new folder so click on upload file and just upload your plugin and the installation will be easier one okay wait we did a small mistake in this case we logged in as a user dedicated core but we wanted to log in as admin right let me first log out i will enter the username as admin and password as they said change me from where i got this password i simply went to the my apps i clicked on this and here it is written so i will enter this and click on login now you can able to see that you are on the actual admin page after login to the admin page very first go to the user click on edit change this and this information and also change your password to secure your server so i will summarize this video now we knows how to install wordpress free of cost on or any vps the best part is we are also demonstrated the quality of our dedicated server and vps hopefully we got the solution and to know more about the similar content like control panel like c panel vesta panel direct admin and all we already created a playlist you can go and watch this for now please like share and subscribe so we will get a huge energy